Before Ted Strickland was a politician, he was a psychologist focused on addictions. As a U.S. Senator, Rob Portman has been at the forefront of legislation to combat opioid and heroin abuse. He co-authored CARA, Comprehensive Addiction and Recovery Act, that put $181 million into prevention, treatment, and recovery. It's a campaign issue, as it is for many voters who have addicted relatives or friends. Sometimes it touches candidates themselves. Uh, a few months ago, I lost uh, a nephew to uh, Oxycontin overdose. Um, a wonderful young man who obviously did not want to die, did not intend to die, but, um, but nevertheless lost his life. State tracking shows eight people a day die from overdoses in Ohio. In a year's time, that's 3,000 folks. That has never been a partisan issue for me. We spent three years putting together our legislation. It was totally bipartisan from the start. Um, the president signed the bill. In the closing hours of the campaign, Strickland says Portman talks convincingly, but stops short of the full story. He doesn't tell the people of Ohio that he actually voted against the resources to fund his own bill so that local communities think that he's concerned, and I guess he is, but local communities need help, they need resources. Portman maintains they're getting them, that there's no holding back. If there is a commonality in the Senate race, it's in the fight against heroin because both candidates are, to whatever degree, advocates for more funding. We're responsible for just getting $37 million in the short-term spending bill that's currently in effect. $37 million in addition to what was already being spent just for this issue. And with national campaigns fixated on presidential candidates who accuse each other of being unfit for office, some in this battleground state say the awareness battle for Ohio's problem has ground to a halt. Cherie?